Welcome to episode six of Give a Listen. This time I want to focus on one of my favorite living American composers who came to prominence in the 1960s, generally with other American minimalist composers like John Adams and Philip Glass and Lamont Young and Terry Riley. But the person that I want you to focus on this time is Steve Reich. He came into being at a time in the 60s where academia had all but taken over the classical music concert going experience. We had hyper serial atonality that was driving people away in droves. There was no more season ticket holders. So many orchestras folded because no one was having emotional experiences with the music. In fact, in my opinion, the classical music world died so quickly it couldn't even finish carving its own tombstone and just died an unceremonious death on the low side of the humanities highway. He studied with composition beginning with Hal Overton in the late 50s and early 60s and then moved on to Juilliard and studied, studied there with uh, Vincent Persichetti and William Bergsma. Uh, afterwards, he got his master's degree from Mills College and then he ended up working with Luciano Berrio and uh, Darius Mio. Berrio is going to be a subject of a future one for his Symphonia, which is one of my favorite pieces of the 20th century. His music, like I mentioned before, has really been performed all over the world. Uh, he's earned Grammy Awards, Pulitzer Prizes. So what I've done is I've made a playlist for you of some of a brief sampling of some of my favorite works of Steve Reich. And the first track is probably my all-time favorite. Um, so I encourage you to listen to it and take your time and just sort of get into feeling his aesthetic. Because once you experience it as you move on to other pieces, and it doesn't matter the decade, you're still going to be able to enjoy it. And you're also going to be able to go, oh, that is quintessentially a Steve Reich experience. And I think that that's the hallmark of a true individual in the sense that they've really carved out their own mu musical aesthetic and something that people really resonate with. So I hope you enjoy episode six, Steve Reich. I'll see you next time.